Today I am back with Drew. Hello. And he has a super <laughs> exciting announcement. Yes, I actually started a brand new DIY only channel. So before I had a men's channel, now I have two channels, my normal one and then my new DIY channel. Yeah, because since we always do the DIY collabs together, my channel's already like home and DIY. Drew thought he would I start I thought I would start one. my own like home DIY channel. So if you are not subscribed, uh, it'll be linked Go below. Go subscribe. And if you're already subscribed to his Drew Scott channel, that's still there. But be sure to click the link down below. It'll just take you to his new Lone Fox channel. Yes. So there'll be three DIYs in my video and then three over on Drew's new channel. I hope you guys enjoy these videos and, and make sure to subscribe to Nastasha's channel if you're not already because she posts lots of DIY and home decor projects. But let's just get into the video. For the first DIY, you're going to be making this tassel jute rug. And for this, you are going to need a jute rug, some larger yarn, and a pair of scissors. I will have the exact jute rug linked down below as well as all the materials in this video. So you're gonna take your scissors and you wanna be careful, but you're gonna create larger holes in the jute rug, large enough to loop your yarn through. Once you loop it through, I'd say to leave about seven inches of excess on the edge before you wanna go in and cut that off and after you cut that little piece off you're just going to create a little loop knot so just go ahead and loop both of those together pull it through and you're gonna make your little knot keep in mind this isn't gonna look perfect but we'll clean it up towards the end so continue this process all the way down on both sides of the rug just adding as many tassels as you want and now we're going to go in and kind of pull apart the yarn and this is going to create those larger tassels of course as i mentioned it doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to go back in with a pair of scissors and snip off the edges to make everything nice and even and after you're done with that step you are all done with your new tassel jute rug. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It looks super expensive, but it was actually very affordable to make. For the next DIY, we're going to be making our own reed diffuser. This is super simple. So for this, you're going to need some reed sticks, an essential oil, alcohol, and a little glass bottle. So I'm pouring about one third of the way full of water and alcohol into this little glass bottle, a few drops of my favorite essential oil, and then I'm taking one of the reed sticks and just mixing all of that mixture together. Once you are done mixing all of that mixture together, all you have to do is add in two more of your reed sticks and it's that simple. You have your brand new reed diffuser that smells absolutely amazing. Next up, we are going to be making this bedside catch-all tray. For this, you are going to need some paint, some wooden legs, wood glue, a foam brush, and some sort of pot. I'm using a pot base and for this I added about three coats of this paint. It did take a few coats to get it very even, but you just want to go in with your foam brush and continue to layer the paint on. After that was dry, I flipped it over and I just freehanded a strip of paint on the bottom. And my goal with this was to find a paint similar enough to the little wood legs that we're gonna add so it kind of all blends together. So I did just one coat of that paint and then I took some wood glue and I glued those little wooden legs on to the bottom of the tray. After I let that dry for I'd say about four to five hours before flipping it over. And once you flip it over, you can use this on the side of your bed to store your daily necessities and things that you need. This would also look really cute if you put a plant in it. So those are all of my DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.